Good day. I was watching the TV news in Sweden here this morning and they talked about the US midterm election result. They were not happy about this. Not at all. You know, for some time they have been uh, campaigning for the Democrats, basically. They have been talking about this heroic Barack Obama who's been campaigning for the Democrats and also Hillary, you know. And they were expecting this blue wave. I think they worked themselves up to this. So they were disappointed on the Swedish news this morning. Yeah, so I thought maybe this was a good result. And then I read Mr. Trump's tweets and he was very pleased. So I thought, yeah, it's good. If Mr. Trump is happy, fine. Yeah. Uh, they brought up this story and some others, but this is like the sunshine story from this election, according to the Swedish news. The first female Muslim congresswoman, the Democrat Ilhan Omar from Minnesota, she was elected. I found this tweet from this Ilhan Omar. Back in 2012, she tweeted, Israel has hypnotized the world. May Allah awaken the people and help them see the evil doings of Israel. So there you go. Okay. All right. I want to talk about Italy now. So this is about the deputy PM, Matteo Salvini. You know, he's been working hard to keep the citizens safe. Yeah. And, you know, he closed the ports of Italy, reducing the number of refugees or invaders, you, as I would like to call them. So he is now proposing a cut of the daily allowance for migrants in Italy. This is brilliant. You know, this is exactly what we need. Because, let's face it, they are coming for the money. Yes, so this is what he's proposing. It used to be 35 euros per day per migrant. So all you had to do was be there in Italy and you would get 35 euros each day. And he's now proposing this cut to 19 euros, which makes it one of the lowest rates in Western Europe. So he's doing a good job, this guy. And they also save a lot of money, of course. According to the interior ministry in Italy, they would have 400 million euros saving in 2019. And this will rise to a 500 million dollar save, sorry, 500 million euro saving in 2020 and 600 million in the following years. Okay, Salvini is a good man. And I want to end off with a quote from Mr. Matteo Salvini. This is what he says. I believe that I'm in government in order to see that our young people have the number of children that they used to a few years ago and not to transplant the best of Africa's youth to Europe. Right. Be good. Bye.